What's up guys, welcome to my 20th C++ tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be going over logical or operator and just like the or says in English it's going to give you an option and as long as one of those options is true then it's going to run the code for example if you tell your mom alright mom I want cookies or a grilled cheese sandwich she can either bring you cookies or a grilled cheese sandwich or she can bring you cookies and a grilled cheese sandwich and I bet you'll still be happy so that's what's pretty much gonna go on right now and that's what I'm gonna teach you guys how to do but in this tutorial we're gonna be making a simple program that's um well let's just do it by ear so the first thing you need to know before you even start is what the or operator is and instead of the word or it's the two um parallel lines and those are those it's above your enter key on your, or your return key on your keyboard if you hold down shift so for example you can put if 5 is greater than 8 which is false or if 2 is less than um, 4 which is true the code is gonna run so instead of typing or you have to type your or operator right there so let's go ahead and create a simple program. Um, the first thing that we're going to want to do is ask the user a question. So let's just say, um, do you do you think Hannah Montana is hot? And then let's end the line. So now we have a question. Do you think Hannah Montana is hot? and then we have a new line and after this line we want to make um, an answer for it so since it's not a number we have to use char and this stands for character I believe and let's make our variable car called answer next we want the user to input whatever they think it is so whatever the user inputs it's going to be stored in the variable answer next we have to give the user all the choices Actually, let's um do this. Y or N. Since that's what we want the user to enter. Y or N. And this, of course, stands for yes or no. So let's go ahead and say if um your answer, let's say, is equal to, oops, is equal to Y or answer is equal to capital Y then what do we want to output so if you press yes oops let's change those to single strings I don't know if I taught you guys that yet but if you said yes that Hannah Montana is hot then let's output on the screen you effing perv <laughs> I hope my mom doesn't see this tutorial, but it's going to teach you guys how to do it. So, if they enter yes, Hannah Montana is hot, we have to tell them that they are effing perv. Um, let's say else if, and let's just go ahead and copy this and change these to no's. Else if your answer is lowercase n or an uppercase n. And then remember, this gives you two choices right here else if you say no let, let's uh, output on the screen copy we'll output okay you're fine as it says alright you're good to go else and this is only in the case if you don't output on the screen either yes or no then we want to tell you answer the question right idiot since they were, if they were too stupid to uh, press yes or no either uppercase or lowercase then we lost all hope for them so we're gonna go ahead and end our line and that should be it with our program so now to recap uh, uh, well let's go ahead and run this program before I start recapping because I don't want to waste time if I messed anything up so compile and it's gonna ask do you think Hannah Montana is hot 
let's go ahead and press lowercase n and it's going to say ok you're fine press any key to exit execute let's compile and run this again and just to show you guys the else statement do you think Hannah Montana is hot let's uh, say bean sausage what bean sausage so then it says answer the question right idiot so again what we did here is we used the logical operator or which is the two parallel lines to give our user two different options when answering and this is useful in many cases uh, this is just one of the main cases that when you want a user to input data but they can input it a bunch of ways say uh, if you ask them who was the first president they can either say Washington or George Washington or George Washington with a couple capital W or things like that so that's how programs in C++ do that so uh, you can practice this code I'm gonna be copying all this code to my website the newboston.com so if you want it you can check it out there but uh, copy this program and um, play around with it and this is how you make a simple program using the logical or operator so again it's going to be in my site the new boston.com i hope you enjoyed watching i hope you learned how to make a simple do you think hand montana is hot program so again thanks for watching i'll see you next time